So this is a sample of the map portion of the project. This is just a blank political map superimposed on paint. We decided not to use Animaps after we decided that it would be way too complicated for any teacher or student to figure out how to use for this purpose. So we'll start off by showing the geographic location of the slave trade and the triangular trade, what exactly that meant. So right here you have Western Europe, wrong line. Right here you have Western Europe, where all this originated from the mother countries of the so-called slave trade and colonialism. You have Britain here, France here, Belgium's right here above France, there's Germany, Italy, and so on. Here is, I'll circle, West Africa, where a lot of the slaves that were exported to the Americas came from. And here is the American portion of the colonies, roughly this area. The 13 colonies of America, the Caribbean, that general area. How this went was, very generally, Europe sent manufactured goods to Africa. The slaves would then be exported from Africa to the American colonies. And then the American colonies would send back the goods manufactured by the slaves, the agrarian goods, crops, from, that, were, that were manufactured by the slaves back to Europe. This creates this triangular trade. Now the students can, this is just a very simple way of putting this out there. Um, they can do it in writing and text on a, on a program, or they can do a screencast video like this where they narrate and tell exactly how this works. So we'll back out of that. Then, I would like them to be able to show how exactly, or where exactly these colonies were located at. If you're using this kind of format, all they have to do, or any kind of format, all they have to do is indicate basically what territory in Africa belonged to what country. So right now we'll indicate the countries that belong to, or not, the general area that belonged to Britain within today's political borders. Britain had the southern portion of Africa roughly down in this area, also part of northern Africa in modern day. Egypt and Sudan in South Sudan. Congo, which was talked about in the, uh, the King Leopold II video, is right here. And then France generally had this area over in here, wrong color, had this area here. And there were others. But they just, as a conclusion, as long as they show where things are happening geographically within this content, with the slave trade and with colonialism, they'll be fine. That's the whole purpose of this.